All right, so here we are ready to begin our first actual segment on window transfer pickoffs. So we've talked about that pre-rigging, now we're going to see it in the actual environment. So Sarah here is our rescuer. We can see that we've got a main line attached to her harness on a fixed brake utilizing a CMC MPD. We now need to make the belay attachments as well as the pickoff strap attachments. So if we look at Sarah's pickoff stra strap attachments, we can see that because she's utilizing the fixed brake application, she's able to take the U of the pickoff strap, click it into the, clip it into the knot itself of the main line, and then take the V of the component and go to her harness. Sarah has already smartly played the pickoff strap all the way out. She's also going to make sure that she rigs this onto an accessory loop that somewhat correlates to the location of the victim in proximity to the descent line on her rope. So if you know that victim is going to be on your right side, it makes sense to go ahead and pre-rig all your connection elements that are going to go to the victim to the right accessory loop so that you're not reaching across your body or potentially causing entanglements. The next attachments we're going to make are the belay line. So we're utilizing a belay line that is also rigged through a CMC MPD. We've put a midline knot in place that is approximately two arm lengths. We're going to take that component, we're going to rig it into the harness uh, rigging element on the harness, ensuring that that is locked. We're going to take that tail, which is going to go to the victim, and we're going to rig that tail into the accessory loop. Now, before the rescuer goes over the edge, we're going to do all of our standard edge deployment procedures, make sure that all the carabiners are locked, make sure that we do a full safety check on all systems, and ensure that nothing's gate loaded as the rescuer makes this transition. One very important element about doing fixed brake window transfer or line transfer pickoffs is communications. There's a lot of sensitive height requirements in the relationship between rescuer and victim when performing pickoffs. So we need to make sure that we have a good communication plan in place so that when the rescuer wants to stop, they get a very fast and safe response by the topside guys to ensure that they control her position on rope in the way that she wants it controlled. You good? good? Okay. Lower slope. Lower slope. So in the window pickoff application, as Sarah the rescuer approaches the victim, she's going to descend down, making sure she's communicating with the edge tender and the top side so that her feet end up slightly below her desired stopping point. Hello. Number one, that's going to put her in a position that she can get inside of that window or inside of that objective but not go so far down that when she goes to leave that objective, her system will be loose and she'll be incapable of tensioning that system without simply sliding off and shock loading the system. So she's going to come down until she calls a loud stop, ensuring that she's got a slight bend in her knees just like that. Now Sarah's in a position to get inside of that window. At this point, she would either configure a hasty harness or a six knot harness or some other approved hasty implement onto the victim or she would put a manufactured harness onto the victim. Once that harness is integrated in, her first connection point is the belay. So she's going to make a belay attachment to the victim's harness with the tail of that belay already pre-configured. She's then going to play out her pickoff strap, ensuring that it's straight, clean, and neat. And she's going to make the attachment of the pickoff strap or the V bracket on the pickoff strap to the victim's harness. As soon as she gets those two implements in place, she will straddle that opening so that the victim is going to come up either between her legs or off to one side. The preferred methodology is to have the victim between the legs. As she cinches up that pickoff strap, once she's got the victim secured on belay and pickoff, she's going to counsel or coach the victim up into the window opening or off of that midpoint landing. As soon as the victim is in a good position uh, to ease out of the window, She's going to tension that victim and ease them out of the window by continuing to take up tension on the pickoff strap. It's imperative that she keeps one hand on the wall surface and that she's in a good body position to get both legs onto the wall surface. It's also imperative that you counsel or coach the victim and let them know that they cannot wrap their arms around your legs. 
If the victim wraps her arms around your legs, they can pull your feet off of the wall surface, causing you to lose protective positioning as a rescuer. Now Sarah gets her feet up on the wall surface, gets back out into her natural descent line, uh, and she is now gonna recommunicate with her topside guys, belay and main, and let Take them know that she's ready to lower. Lower slow. Lower slow. 